Welcome back to Sombrero Island, one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean. The last few days, we've been exploring this magical, uninhabited place both above and below the water. It's cool in there, man. Wait till you guys get to see this tomorrow morning. It's gonna be sick. Every day has felt like a dream. It looks so pretty. And there was tons of laughter. He can't be alive, can he? Oh my God! <laughs> I got her. Yeah, you got me. But as always, the life of a sailor is written in sand and we will soon have to say goodbye. So let's make the most of it, shall we? Yes. Cheers. I need you to stop singing because they take all my ad revenue for covers now. So you can't actually hum or sing any song that's ever been written. <laughs> Can you please explain to the viewers at home what this contraption is? And what did you do to my boat? Like, I, I just had this like pretty teak table. I'm like, guys, do you want me to put the table out for you? It's nice out here. You guys can relax, have some drinks. <laughs> now it's trashed. I refuse to try this unless the shark is attached. Yeah, that's what that The is. shark needs to be attached. Maybe just with tape. Yeah. Here's tape. Then it'll definitely work. <laughs> That's right, we named it the Sinkum. Oh, pyramid dive. Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Look at that. So this, damn it. It's not working again. <laughs> yeah, so this, the structure, the wooden structure is supposed to sink. You see, there are some diving weights there. And the green is in. It shows the front, and then this is supposed to float up, and it can be regulated. Oh, give me more slack. You see? Look at that. Look at that. And go all the way up. It's freaking all genius! Up. It's yeah. genius! And then you pull, and it goes down. It goes down. So, down, 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 down. this is a really cool contraption. I love it. You How long did it take to make? What's the time? One o'clock. Three hours and a half. Three hours and a quarter. So yeah. And it's actually, it's actually, she did a pretty good job. I didn't help her at all, and she. Why should you? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't do any of this. This is all you, and you did a damn good job making it. Look, you see how it's like, you know, butted together. It's not glued. I should, should have glued it because it would have lasted longer. But it's all screwed together well. And you even, she made this out of one big piece of board too. She had to like, you know, chop it all up and I'm proud of you. When I was young, I thought... After V gave the final touches to her outstanding project, it was time to try it. So let's go for a little spearfishing session. And heavy metal seemed to be the only thing that was for me. And I saw the angels coming down. So this is the end of a lionfish. We are having some problems. We um, cut off all his fins, and now he's now I can kill him. So um, all of his fins—they're really pretty fish, but all their fins are uh, really deadly. So you can see he's bloated right now because he's um, his his lift bag is inflated. As soon as we open him up and, and drain him out, and then pop his lift bag. This is his lift bag. Boom. There, he's dead. That's the lift bag. So the, this is the little bag that the fish blows up to equalize his own, his own pressure. Now we can fillet him and uh, 
you know, this part of the fish isn't really any good, the heads on this fish, so we can just cut the head off now. So you can't really get any meat from this, this piece. That's the part we'll eat. All that work. For nothing. For nothing. The GoPro is fucked up. So apparently the video didn't work out. She's bummed. It's not for nothing. Everybody appreciates your effort. Yeah. You engineered the nothing. shit out of that. You can't see nothing. That's okay. So this is what I actually got with it. We were supposed to get this on camera and that on camera, but I think all we got was the lionfish. That's all right. We're gonna cook him now. <laughs> okay, this is the haul after it's cleaned. This has been scaled and sliced. That way we can grill it real nicely. Put some garlic inside here. This is a trigger fish. This is a blue jack. And these are two big lobsters. <sighs> so a lot of people, they just ripped the tail off, you know, and just eat the tail. But the head has a lot of meat in it too, man. Like these all have meat, all the legs have meat. The whole head is full of meat. You can eat a lot of that, so remember that. Look at this spread. Lionfish, lobster, salad, lots of tomato. The rest of the lobster, the rest of the lobster, even more lobster. <laughs> and some pliers that you can never miss on your table, right? Yeah. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. This is really good. I could eat this every day, and pretty much we have them. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the splice held pretty well. And now the time has come for us to say farewell to Isla Sombrero. Nobody likes to leave such a unique place, but I have a feeling I'll be back here. I hope the crew had as much fun as I did. This has been a very special one. But now I get to go back to the thing I love even more than exploring. We are on our way back. Uh, unfortunately, with every island, you have to say goodbye. And uh, we are saying goodbye to Sombrero, and we are sailing back. We are making about six knots good, seven, and going straight up wind, and we're getting right to where we want to go. You got the white knuckles holding on the time. Keep your feet up inside. Head in for a collision. How do you feel? I saw a big, big whale jumping out of water. Yeah, reaching. Beautiful. What you doing? Oh, that looks good already. I just want the onions. Yeah, I might have frittata. Frittata? Mm. Is that an egg thing? Mm -hmm. With what? Eggs? Um, it's like a sort of omelet, but it's thin and nicer in Italian. 